Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you a video giving my thoughts on the season 4 finale of Z Nation on Sci-Fi, The Black Rainbow, as well as just sharing my excitement and pleasure of knowing that the show has been renewed for a season 5 by Sci-Fi. So yeah, that's right, the show's been renewed for a season 5, um, which is really cool to hear. I'm very happy about that. Um, you know, I, I, I just think there with every show on nowadays, there deserves to be a little Z Nation, you know, for a good while yet. Um, as far as how many uh, seasons it's going to go on for, I'm not sure. Uh, the ratings are, you know, the lowest they ever have been, unfortunately. They're in, like, the point five area, um, which isn't great. But they, they did renew uh, Winona Earp and... Uh, Van Helsing last year on less than that, so I imagine a more long-running show like Z Nation, they're willing to, you know, throw at least another bone or two, too. Um, you know, which is good. I'm happy they did that. Um, but I expect a Z Nation to go maybe a couple more seasons at most. Um, you know, maybe season five will be the last one. I'm not sure. But, you know, let's not think like that, because this is happy news right now, because we definitely left uh, season four on a pretty big cliffhanger. Um... You know, it would have been a, it would have been a pretty uh, frustrating uh, end to try and cope with if it did get canceled after this. Um, and yeah, the viewership's gone down, but I think uh, you know there's also this uh, fan group on Facebook, Z Nation Family, which uh, I always have a link to in the description of my Z Nation videos. That you guys should definitely uh, request to join. They'll accept you in. You know, it's as easy as that. And, you know, there's live discussions, you know, post-episode discussions, you know, um, there's even uh, members of the cast and crew that are members of the group um, that sometimes share things. Um, so, yeah, yeah, check that out. Um, and I, I really love Z Nation, you know. Um, I know I haven't reviewed the season since episode 8, Crisis of Faith. Um, you know, I've just been, you know, really busy with work and other shows I've been trying to keep up on as well as, you know, doing things in my, f you know, the rest of my free time. Um, but, you know, I think it's been a really, uh, you know, pretty good season, actually. Uh, I was, I was pretty into it in the first few episodes, are like, The Unknown, um, Keep Moving, um, Back from the Undead, the whole Lucy thing was really surprising. Uh, yeah, the show became a little bit more self-serious this season, but there's definitely still, you know, it's a brand of, uh, off-the-wall wackiness, I think. I, I think people are exaggerating, let's say, that's non-existent, um... And I think the show has actually improved, you know, it still has that sarcasm, it still has that, you know, humor to it. But at the same time, I think it's improved with its uh, character drama, its characters themselves. And just uh, the pacing and the tone, I, I think it's I think it's better. Um, only real complaint <laughs> is that there's still no Addy. Where the hell is Anastasia Baranova? I don't know. <laughs> um... You know, it's just really odd because we've seen her, you know, after her in 10 case thing towards the beginning of the season with uh, Lucy and everything. We know that she had uh, she had escaped, she had survived, and they're supposed to meet her in uh, New America, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen now. Um, you know, so I don't know, it's just really odd late. I was fully expecting her to reappear in the finale, um, you know, within the last couple episodes, that, you know, or something anyway. You know, but nothing. And. <laughs> You know, I just don't know. Are they going to put her in some kind of, like, Morgan Walking Dead role? You know, having her make guest appearances every so often, which could be played out really, in a really cool way. Um, but I really just miss having her as part of the, the core cast. Although, uh, Grace Gillum has definitely become a, you know, a very, uh, solidified member of the group, too. You know, Sergeant Lily. Um, getting to like her a lot, but we still need Addie back. You know, it, it's just really odd. Unless they're really trying to cut the budget and they chose her to regulate to a smaller role or a less uh, re less uh, present role, I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, the season four finale I liked. I don't think it's the best episode of the season, but I got pretty into it. You know, I thought it had a pretty good uh, <clears throat> you know pace to it with Black Rainbow about to be set off. Um, Warren's revelation about uh, you know what was imprinted into her psyche while she was uh, in a coma in Zona. Um, at Zona, and, you know, that sort of being raised from her memory until she's had all these clues built up just to have her, um, have a hand in, uh, setting it off at the end of it. 
um, which is, uh, you know, fairly well done. Um, I know some people got bored with the whole uh, Black Rainbow thing, but, you know, they could, probably could have reviewed, uh, revealed some of this uh, sooner, I suppose, but I think it led to a pretty intense uh, season finale for what it was. Um, you know, uh, 10K hooking up with uh, Sarge was a little bit surprising just because, you know, he is still so, uh, you know, dry <coughs> excuse me. He is still so dragged down by uh, what happened with Red, not knowing where she is, Sun May and Addy and everything. I was surprised to see them do something there, but, you know, end of the world, they thought, so <coughs> why not? And I, I love uh, Murphy and Doc's reaction to it. What a surprise. Yeah, seen that coming. <laughs> uh, I love Murphy and Doc. Uh, and uh, this season really solidified Murphy as my favorite character of the show. I still love Addy. I still think the show needs Addy back as soon as fucking possible. <laughs> But Murphy, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's really sad that we went through with Lucy this season. Uh, but Keith Allen just does such an incredible job, and he feels like a really well-rounded character at this point. Yeah, he's still sarcastic. Yeah, he can still be a dick. Um, but he does have a genuine care for the group, and especially Warren. You know, I love the respect and bond between them, I think. I, I'm kind of hoping it leads to something a little romantic in Season 5, perhaps. I think that's definitely in the cards, this way they look at each other. and the way Murphy went after Warren when she told everyone to stay in, and Murphy was wanting to go after her by himself to try and help her, um, I thought it was really nice. Um, you know, so I know you don't need to ship everything, but you know, I wouldn't mind seeing them finally hook up in Season 5. I think it'd be earned. Um, I'm sure Murphy would have a good time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I also thought visually it looked you know, pretty good for a sci-fi show, you know, just uh, with Warren taking off in the jet and everything. I was surprised by how decent it looked. Um, again, you know, for the network, um, you know, for the budget they probably have. Uh, I really like the shot of uh, the Black Rainbow thing actually occurring, you know, Doc and Murphy watching, um, which I have as the thumbnail of the video. Um, as well as Murphy having to drag, uh, you know, the president around and everything down those uh, flights of stairs, but he just ended up pushing them down, which is pretty fun. Um, you, know, you know, it did save time, so... <laughs> Um, there, there's plenty to talk about with the finale. Uh, you know, I loved Warren's uh, zombie kill with the shield, just the head being bashed in. And, yeah, so I thought it was really good. I'm rating the episode about a 9.2 out of 10. Um, I'm really gonna miss C, C Nation. I don't want to wait till next fall. Uh, but I'm just happy we're getting more. I think it's a really, really entertaining show, and it's really become something pretty, pretty memorable for me. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and uh, barring any like uh, thing in my life that happens I don't see coming yet, I do plan on really, really making a point to review every single episode of Z Nation next season. So uh, yeah, I hope I can stick to that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything else about the finale you want to bring up, feel free to. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.